Good evening from Los Angeles. This is Tuesday, July 22nd, 105 days until the 2008 presidential election. Senator John McCain now staking his candidacy entirely on the surge in Iraq, entirely on his claim that he believed in the need for a surge of U.S. forces in Iraq even before President Bush did. Tonight has proven that he does not understand one of the fundamental facts about the surge. In an interview with the CBS Evening News earlier today, the presumptive Republican nominee getting the basic timeline and history of the surge completely wrong. We cannot play that portion of the interview for you because CBS, curiously to say the least, left it on the edit room floor. It aired Katie Couric's question, but in response it inserted part of McCain's answer to another question instead. And how do we know this? We consulted a transcript of the entire original interview, which was available on the CBS News website, reading from the interview as it actually transpired, Couric asking, quote, Senator Obama says, while the increased number of U.S. troops contributed to increased security in Iraq, he also credits the Sunni awakening and the Shiite government going after militias and says that there might have been improved security even without the surge. What's your response to that? McCain answering, quote, I don't know how you respond to something that is such a false depiction of what actually happened. Colonel McFarland was contacted by one of the major Sunni sheiks, because of the surge, we were able to go out and protect that sheik and others, and it began the Anbar awakening. I mean, that's just a matter of history. Senator McCain is either wrong or lying. The military commander he mentioned, General Sean McFarland, then a colonel, briefed the media on the Anbar awakening. On September 29, 2006, at least two months before rumors about the mere possibility of a surge of U.S. troops in Iraq. And it is Senator McCain, in portions of the interview CBS did choose to air, who insisted that Obama does not understand what is happening and what has happened in Iraq.